Oh, I just triple killed this team, bro. <laughs> and it's, they're so bad, dude. YouTube, what's going on, guys? Today, we've got a video that I didn't actually want to put up. I've actually been fighting with myself a little bit, thinking about whether or not I was going to get on board with these other guys that have been posting these videos, specifically Drifter and Ra Ra. Ra Ra, of course, told everybody how to do it. Drifter has been trying to keep his cards close to his chest, which uh, I kind of uh, is admirable. Of course, uh, that seems like it may not have paid off for him because he sent in how to do these cheats, how to get the easy bot lobbies, which I'm going to tell you how to do uh, Ra Ra's uh, uh, explanation of it. Um, I will also link that below his video on it as well but drifters uh, uh he's been keeping it close to his chest uh, how he he's been doing it there's there's some uh, speculation about how he figured out how to do it of course using different routers and things like that which is a little bit more advanced um, and costs a little bit more money than uh, the way that I'm going to tell you guys how to do it. But of course, uh, there is some reverse going on, uh, reverse boosting going on in Warzone right now. That is kind of plaguing the lower tier levels, uh, the level lobbies, sorry. And uh, the more advanced players have been able to actually infiltrate and get into these lobbies. And of course, just kind of run rampant and get kills on these guys that have like 0.77 average KD. How do I feel about this? I'll be honest honest with you, uh, as soon as I found out about it, I watched Raw Raw's video and then I myself went and did it. And I'll tell you what, it is actually a lot of fun and really scary that it is so much fun. Um, did it work? Yeah, it worked right away. Um, I had no problem actually getting into the uh, bronze tier lobbies. Now, how do you know which lobby you're getting into? Well, there's a few different ways that you can tell. There's a way to tell after uh, what lobbies you were playing in on skill-based matchmaking warzone.com. It's actually SBMM warzone.com um, you can go on there now since uh, the release of Rara's video they've actually made it um, private now Activision has made every user by default private so that these uh, third-party companies or sites can't just take your information and put it out to everybody you actually have to make your information public which you can do you just have to go on your uh, Activision account go to activision.com log in go to your profile Go to where you're able to link your accounts and there there's a new section that you can actually set to all and all. You actually have to set it to none, refresh the page and then set it to all and all and then you'll be able to see your stats on sbmmwarzone.com. You'll be able to see what lobbies you're getting into. Who's doing this? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Ra Ra kind of called a few people out for it since uh, he did that. One of them has come forward specifically to tell everybody, yeah, man, I was doing this. You know, it's hard to create some content and uh, on a daily basis. So I was doing this so that I could release videos, which, you know what, to be fair, I totally understand that people are under the gun and it is tough to make content every day and get people to, of course, click that like button. So with that said, I understand where he's coming from. But at the same point, uh, Ra Ra is right. If you're going to be doing that and you're going to be using this cheat that I'm going to show you, then you should be telling people that you're doing it, especially if you are going to be trying to make money off it or, you know, just going to tournaments. Oh my gosh, like I, that's, I don't know what they're going to do tournament wise now with Warzone right now because it's up in the air with everybody freaking out about uh, kind of in the community. Uh, with people using different ways to get into these easy lobbies. Now, how is it done? So like we were talking about before, uh, there's a way to tell what lobbies you're getting into. Now, there's a app you can actually download. I'll put a link in the description down below for you guys. It's called, it's actually from Overwolf and it's called the Warzone Companion and the Warzone Tracker. You download both those two little apps They'll just kind of self-regulate. You put in your information, uh, basically just your gaming tab, whether it's Activision or Blizzard, and then it'll just pull your information from the internet. Now, like I said, of course, you have to go to your Activision account and actually uh, release the information by clicking all in all uh, instead of having it on none. Now, I'm pretty sure that it's still able to get the KD even without uh, the, the KD of the lobby even without everybody's being set to uh, uh, not private anymore. So it's still kind of working as far as I can see. Um, so you'll be able to actually get into the lobby. So what these apps do is it's going to open up every time you start a lobby, you can click Alt T and it will take you, it'll show you everybody in your lobby. It'll show everybody their names, their, their skill level, how many wins they have. And then it averages everything else. It'll actually show you the average KD 
of your lobby, which allows you to basically pick which lobbies you want to play and which ones you don't want to play. If the overall skill base of a, of a lobby is, you know, 1.5 KD, you know, that's going to be a pretty sweaty lobby. You know, they're still going to have some, some uh, you know, not so good players uh, in there to try and average out because there's going to be guys up there with like 4.0 KDs and, you know, guys down there with like 0.2 KDs. And then they just kind of like average it out until it's at a 1.5. That's how they, they, they get the average of that lobby. Now, of course, that is a diamond lobby most likely that you are in and you want to try and get into the bronze tier lobbies. Now, this cheat that I'm going to tell you guys worked every time for me, man. 15 times in a row, I was able to get into bronze lobbies. Uh, there were times that I had just backed out. Like I said, I used the Warzone uh, tracker app. It would tell me that I was in a little bit more of a sweaty lobby. I'll be honest with you, like the sweatiest lobby I ended up getting into while using this, uh, this hack or cheat um, literally was like maybe a silver, you know, a silver two maybe I got, you know, uh, at worst, but I just kept backing out even silvers, you know, and getting myself down into the bronze lobbies. And <clears throat> once you get yourself into that bronze lobby, you just slay everybody. It's, it's, it's unreal, man. Uh, it's actually, I actually feel bad for the guys that are in there. Like, we shouldn't be in there guys who are just average players. Like I'm an average player, you know, I got a 1.63 KD, um, shouldn't be in a lobby with guys who are just learning how to play the game. You know, it's not fair. It's not right, but I'll tell you, it's, it's a lot of fun. And, um, uh, I hope they do patch this, but to be honest with you, skill-based matchmaking just in general, I think the community is sick of it. I think we're all sick of it. I think we'd like to get onto the game and actually just get be a, be a part of the melting pot, you know, so to say. Like, it's just, you know, every lobby should just be a melting pot of, of just a wide range of players. Who knows what you're going to get? And you should be able to slay the lobby. You know, there should be times where I'm the best player in the lobby. I'd like that. You know, why wouldn't I? And then, of course, there's got to be times where I'm, you know, at the bottom of the lobby. Sure, that's fine. But I think that uh, I think the community is sick of skill-based matchmaking, and they're the people that are taking advantage of, of ways to get into the bot lobbies. I totally understand it, man. I totally get it. You just want to have a good time, man. You want to lay back and just slay some people. You don't want to have to sweat every time you get into a game. You don't want every single player to be, you know, completely as knowledgeable as you are about the game and also sweating, you know, like really trying. Like, I want to sit down and not have to play my ass off just to kill one guy. And then I got to, then I still got to the, got to get to the end of the lobby, you know, where there's going to be even better players, you know? So I just like to, um, I like to make the point that I understand where people are coming from when they are trying to get into these bot lobbies. I just don't agree with making content, making money off it without letting people know that that's what you're doing. Now, how do we how do we get into these lobbies? Well, I'll tell you. It's this simple. You literally just make a second account on any other platform. It can't be the same one that you're on. So if you're on the Xbox, you got to make it on the PlayStation. If you're on the PlayStation, you make it on the Xbox or on the computer, whatever. I did mine on the computer because I play on Xbox. So I signed on to Blizzard, made an account on Blizzard, made make another account with Activision. You've got your second account now, okay? I've got my second account. I bring it in. I add it as a friend with my main account. I let it host the lobby. You let the bot, the bot host the lobby. You join it. You start the game. And then in the pregame lobby, you back out with the bot. And voila, you are in a bot lobby. Now, has this been patched? I'm not sure. I'll tell you right now, uh, I have been struggling to get into bot lobbies uh, since yesterday. So the first time I did, I got into 15 bot lobbies in a row. I was able to get into the 0.77 lobbies, 0.88. You know, I wasn't getting anything more than a 0.99. You know, it was not... not now I'm getting into those 1.35 lobbies, 1.4 lobbies. If I'm lucky, I can get down to like a 1.15 lobby, which I'm pretty sure is still almost a diamond lobby. It's pretty close. It's definitely in a gold. Um, so I don't know if this has been patched or if Infinity, uh, uh, Infinity Ward has done or Activision has done anything, but I can tell you that something is different today than it was yesterday. So you can give it a shot, try it out, see if you can get yourself into those lobbies. Now I don't know if I've been shadow banned. If maybe my my main account has been shadow banned. If my bot lobby, uh, or sorry, my bot account has been. Uh, shadow band and it's just putting me into these these ridiculous lobbies that are tough um, but I don't think that's the case I, I really am not sure what is happening but I can tell you that there's definitely something going on that uh, maybe even the warzone tracker app isn't working properly and it's not telling me the average KDs properly but I think it is and I think that they've they've already started to fix do I think that they've removed um, 
these these low tier lobbies no they're still there it's just a matter of trying to get into them you guys do what you want with this information i feel like i needed to share it with my my uh, my small following as well let you guys know how to do it and uh like i said i will link rara and uh drifter also i'll put his link uh link to their videos below um and i hope you guys uh i hope you guys are able to you know maybe maybe uh use this to to get some more extra kills i'll tell you what man uh, they need to do something with the skill-based matchmaking in Activision, and maybe we all just need to ram the shit out of skill-based matchmaking with this, with this, uh, you know, these these problems until they do something, until they they, they make like, maybe just a rank system and give us just a, a a regular lobby that we can all jump into separate. You know, there should be a ranked ranked lobbies and then just uh, casual lobbies, right? The same way Apex has it or any of these other guys, and uh, you know, it'll make it a lot more fun for guys who are just trying to get on and casually play with their buddies. And I think that's it for uh, today, guys. I think that's just going to be the video that I'm going to upload for you guys. Uh, of course, this gameplay that you guys have been watching has been me in the bot lobby. As you can see, I was just absolutely slaying people. Some of them were like literally just standing still, not doing anything. And I almost felt bad, but I, I'm, like I said, it was a lot of fun. So I hope this video, uh, you know, informs you guys a little bit with what's going on in the community. If you guys feel like it did, maybe hit that like button for me because that helps me out in return, kind of move the algorithm, push this video out there. Hit that subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, guys, because I'm going to start dropping content. Hit that bell notification for me because it's going to inform you guys of when I upload videos so you guys can be one of the first ones to see it. Like I said, I'm out, guys. Take it easy.